hello friends welcome back to smith coder we are back with a video and in this video we will learn how we can host our node.js api in our aws hosting So this is our panel for the AWS. You can see here, we have to first go to the EC2 and there we have the instances. And from there, we have to just click on the launch instance. And then we have to put the name here. We have to put the name of the server. Like we can put here, REST API hyphen server. Then we have the option for like, what type of server we have to create. Usually we use the Ubuntu for our hosting the Node.js APIs and all because it is a very lightweight and all. Here we can use the free tier. If we have a very less traffic, we can also use the free tier. If we are doing the development and all, we are planning to go to the production. Then we have to upgrade our server to a paid version with the higher configuration and all. In the free tier, we can do all our development and all. We will select here. We have a lot of other option also. But here we are just using the 64 bit version and here the option for like what type of instant type is and here we are using t2.micro and this one include a one CPU and one GB memory that is enough for our development. So here we have the key pairs and that will be used for logging to our server for handling all the operation for hosting the APIs and all in our server by installing the software which is required for our APIs and all and we will click here create a new key pair and here we have the options like we have to give the name for our key pair and here we are putting rest api hyphen server hyphen keys and here we have the option for the rsa or ed encrypted file and all so we are going to use rsa and here we have the file format like if we are using the open ssh then we can use a pm if we are using the putty then we can use a ppt but we are using here Mac OS and we are using the PM. If you, are, if you are a window user, you can use the PPT, PPK. So here we will click on the create key pair. The file will be download. And here you will see the key pair selected as a whatever that we have created. So whatever the file is downloaded, we have to use that file. And we have to make sure that will be stored in our very secure area so that it will be not lost. Once if it, the file will be lost, then you have to create a new key pair and all. So here we have the network setting and all. And here we have the option for the firewalls. And that will be used for allowing our SSH traffic to be used. That means our server can be used from any SSH. And here we are putting allow, allow here. So here the option for the storage. And we are using the default 8 GB of the memory. And we can also increase the size for our hard disk and all 8 GB is enough for our development and all so now all the information added so now what we will do we will click on the launch instance it will create the instance for us so now you can see here success that means our instance is created here so next step is to use the key file which is downloaded that we will use to connect to our server what we have to do for that we have to just open our terminal here so here we have the terminal here so what now we have to do we have to just put here chmod 400 and then we have to drag the file which is downloaded and we have to change the permission for that key file so here we have dragged the file here and we will just press the enter here so now we will connect to the server for that we have to put the command here ssh hyphen i then we have to drag again our this path for the key then we have to put here space and then we have to put the username and our ip address that we will note from our instance details so here we have our instance so now we have to note down the ip address this is the ip address we will copy here and here we will put the username and we have used the default username that is ubuntu at the rate and we have to put the ip here so now we will press the enter here you can see here we have to write here yes so they have added the keys and all in our settings so now you can see here our server is connected here so now what we have to do 
we have to run some of the commands. So first time we are launching the server, we have to update the server. We have to put here sudo apt update and we have to press the enter here. You will see here it's up upgrading the server here. So now the next thing we have to do is we have to install the node.js. For that we have to run the command here. I will copy paste the command here and we'll put in the description also. This is the command that will be curl iPhone o iPhone. Then we have to put the URL for our node.js and all npm and we have to press here enter. You will see here it's downloading its. Now again we have to put one command that will be this one by putting this command it will add the path for our npm and all so now we can install the latest version of the node.js before that we have just installed the npm package that will be used for installing our node.js and all so the command will be nvm install hyphen hyphen lts we will press the enter here you can see here downloading and installing node version 22.13.1 so it's downloaded now and we will put here this command nvm use hyphen hyphen lts it will use this version now you can see here now using node version 22.13.1 so next command is we have to install one package that will be pm2 and pm2 is a process manager for our node.js that will allow us to run our application as a service so in case if we stop using our server if we close the terminal command and all it will keep on running our server as a node.js server so for doing that we have to put here npm install hyphen g that will be installed as a global and we will put here pm2 and now we will press the enter here so now pm2 is also installed so what we can do now is we have to just put our node.js project in our server so for doing that we have two options first one is we can copy our local files to the server by putting the command and the second option is we can clone the git repository in our server for now we will just copy our local project to the server so here we have to run the command that will be scp i then here we have to put the path for our key then we have to put here hyphen r then we have to put the path for our folder where the apis are located in our local machine then we have to put the username at the rate the ip address of our server and then we have to put the path where we have to copy our all the files from our local to the server and now from here we will just press the enter here we have just put the dummy project in our server and also we have exclude the node modules and all so now what we have to do we have to connect the server again so this is the command for connecting the server we will press the enter here so now what we will do we will just go to the folder we have just copied the files and the path of the folder is this one slash home ubuntu and slash app we will put as cd slash home ubuntu slash app we will press the enter here we are now in the path here and here we will put the cd we will press the tab here we will get here node underscore api project we will just press the enter here now we are inside the project folder now what we have to do we have to install our node packages and all we will press here npm install and we will press enter here it will install all the packages you can see here so now what we have to do we have to just run our pm2 with our node.js application for that we have to write the command here pm2 start index.js file make sure this file name will be your server file name here we are using index.js file in case you are using the server.js file we have to change it here and then we have to put here hyphen hyphen name and we have to give the name for our project api and all and we are putting a rest api and we'll just press the enter here it will add here you can see here it's added here and it's showing the state as the online it will also show the cpu uses and the memory it's using so now the most important thing is we have to put this command so that our all the configuration for this api will be saved in the memory we have to put here pm2 save and we'll press enter after that we have to restart here pm startup system we have to run this command we have to run this command pm2 start sysdemd and we will press the enter here so now we have to run this one we have to copy this one and we will press the enter here so now we will just 
put the exit from here and we will again connect to the server and now what we have to do we have to put a pm2 logs so here you can see server is running on the port 3000 that means our server is running perfectly fine without any issue we can if we go out from here and if we close the server here it will still run so now what we have to do we have to access this api in the browser and before doing that we have to go to our security setting in the aws and we have to make sure our port number 80 or port number 443 is enabled so that user can access the so that the user can access our api in the public way first we have to put here exit now we have to open the aws and here we have the security group this one launch wizard 2 what we have to do we have to go there so here in the inbound rules we have to edit the inbound rules and here we have to click on the add rule and from here we have to put here the port number 3000 because this is the port where we are running the ip and we will put the ip here it will be open for all the ip and we will press the save rules so now what we have to do we have to just open the ip here this is the ip address and here we have to put here colon 3000 and we will press the enter here you can see here api is working here and here we have to put the end point that will be hello so this is our api which we have hosted in the aws you can see here we are getting the response here so in case we will disable the inbound rule then we will not able to access this 3000 port from the publicly so in this way we can host any of our node.js apis in our aws so this is the very easy way to host the node.js api in our aws so i hope you like the video don't forget to subscribe channel like comment share i will come back soon with another awesome video thank you for watching the video